everybody, it's Margaret and I am bringing you a haul video today. Yesterday morning I went out and hit about two garage sales uh, and I found some nice costume jewelry and some nice sterling jewelry and spent ooh, probably about $40 or so, which is a lot for me, but I found some nice pieces that I'm pretty sure that I'm going to make my money back on. Um, plus, if you saw my last haul video, I did really well, so I'm kind of excited about that. Um, yeah, we'll see. So first up, I'm going to show you a few of the things that I didn't find a whole lot of information on, but were nice quality. And oh my goodness, I forgot to pull up the prices, so I'm going to kind of guesstimate. But I spent about $40, $45 in total on everything yesterday. Um, so yeah, let me just get started. So this is a little brooch, and I think I actually spent 3 or $4 on this, which is kind of high for me, but I could tell it was nice quality. Um, and it's got a marking that I don't know and I looked it up and I also couldn't figure it out. It's a little star. It almost looks like a sheriff's star, doesn't it? It's got a star in the circle. There's no other markings, but maybe you guys would know what it is. And I looked it up, but no, no, couldn't find it. But it's got some nice detailing, enamel, little, you know, sparkly, crystally stones. So that was cute. I was pretty sure I would be able to put this up for probably between 15 and $25. That's what I'm aiming at because of the nice quality. There were also, I mean, a few things came bagged like so. And um, so there were things that were in the bag that maybe I didn't particularly want. But then one of them was this, you know, it's like a stretchy band ring. And then this little, it's not real gold, um, but it's a little, you know, just costume jewelry ring. And what I'll do with these is end up putting them in a jewelry jar that I'll take to the booth, the antique booth. Cool. Uh, another thing that didn't really find a whole lot of information on was this Seiko watch. This I picked up for a dollar. And I see like a scratch on the face down there or something. I don't know. Um, again, I couldn't find a lot of information out about it. So uh, I don't know. <laughs> it just seemed like for a dollar, why not, right? Um, so either, here are my thoughts. One, it could go in a jewelry jar. Or two, I've got a few other watches that kind of fell in that same range of well, it seems like a good deal. I'll pick it up. And then I couldn't find anything. And watches usually aren't really my thing. Um, so I might do like a watch lot on eBay, you know, just for parts or, you know, whatever. So that's kind of where that's going. And then again, these earrings I found, I thought they might be Brighton when I saw them. They kind of had that look, if you know what Brighton is. Um, but they were not. So they will also probably end up either in a jewelry jar or if I do, um, you know, like a grab bag, junk drawer type lot. Um, so yeah, that's what's going to happen with those. And these I think I paid a dollar for, which, okay, no big deal. No big deal. It's going to be cool. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, I also picked up a ladies Seiko watch, which again, I couldn't find out a whole lot of information about. Um, so same deal. It may end up in a lot with some other watches. No, not like it. Um, or I don't know. I couldn't find out too much about it. So we'll see. Okay. So now on to the things I did find out. Oh no, there was one more thing. Sorry. This one, I, a little, oh, what did I pay for that watch? I think I paid $5. What was I thinking? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. I felt like maybe I got some other good deals that I was okay to pay up for it. Plus, it was a fundraiser for the Heritage Gardeners, and I'm a garden nut, so I was like, well, I'm helping out the gardeners. This was a cool little turtle, and I thought that it might be silver. I, I wasn't, you know, like alpaca type silver, but it's not. But I just thought it was really cool, kind of open work, lacy look with these two little pearly, not beads, but well, maybe kind of like pearly bead things on them. Um, but I, I, ha I didn't see anything like it. So even though it's not um, sterling silver, I still think I'm going to price it high. I think I'm still going to go $30 or more because there are people that collect turtles. It's really unique looking and I didn't find anything else similar. I mean, and it's got some really good detail. I don't know. I'm going to try that again. Is it focusing? There's like little etchings behind his head and everything. So <clears throat> that's where that's going. All right, on to the, what I looked up. 
All right, so here are things that I looked up to give you ideas about. Um, I picked up this, it's like a brooch. You know, it's got a pin for the brooch and it's also got a hook to hang it on a necklace. And it's a fan and it closes up and it opens up. And then here the marking says Spain on it. So I thought that was really interesting. So this one, I found one here that was out of stock, but the reason I kept the, the link for it was that it gave great, um, when I'm looking for titles and keywords and things like that, um, I'll, I'll save links to ones that are similar or exactly like. So when I'm creating my listing, I've got that kind of like the work's already done. I don't necessarily copy and paste, but I will definitely, you know, oh, let's see how they described it. Oh, that's a good way to describe it. So I can kind of get a good idea. Um, for that, but this one didn't have the price on it. So there was one that sold on Etsy. <clears throat> and so this is a sold listing and I went over to find the price. Oh darn it, I did the work and now I scrolled, there it is. And so it sold for $20 on Etsy. And since I didn't see another one exactly like it and one sold for 20 and blah, 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 I'll probably list it closer to 30. <laughs> That's just the way I do it. That's the way I roll. Um, and then here we go. This ring, I was super excited to actually find the exact ring. This was in that bag I was showing you. Like I had that little bag that had the stretchy ring and the silver or gold whatever ring. But it looked like this, super duper 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 tarnished. And the little marcasites in there. And when I first searched, you know, sterling silver, flower ring, marcasites, I mean some pulled up. But the prices were in the like teens, like $14. And I was like, oh man. But then I found this one as a, as a sold listing on eBay and it sold for $28. And that was just in this past December. So I'm gonna clean this up and I will probably be listing it for right around that price point, $28. Cause like I said, there are similar, you know, sterling silver, marcasite, flower rings that sold in are selling in the teens or people have listed them in the teens <clears throat> but i prefer to not do that okay and now here's a dud oh boy the lady really had me going she was so funny about telling me how things were like this is a nice jewelry and oh you're doing so well you're finding really nice stuff i mean she was really blowing that smoke at my backside and i just was like you're right i am <laughs> so i picked up this ring has the tags and everything on it the Leah Sophia, and she was telling me what a good brand it was and blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, I've never heard of it, but okay, I, I believe you. So I spent $5 on this ring. Oh my gosh, you guys, you know me, you know, I, I don't know, something was in the water yesterday. I spent some money. Um, so yes, the, and this brand, it's got some nice stuff, but this particular ring, look here, I saw this, I was like, oh, okay, $22. That's awesome. That's, that's pretty good. Five bucks to 22. I mean, yeah, I like a bigger margin, but whatever. That's pretty good. And then I see this on there. Oh wait, look, on sale for $3. <laughs> you win some, you lose some, right? I don't know, yeah, it fits me, but. Well, you know, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes, it happens. You know, they're not all winners, right? This was another piece that she was, <laughs> poor lady, I, she needs to check her eyes or something. So I'm, I'm picking this one up and I, um, I was gonna put it back because she told me she wanted five, $5 for it. And I said, no, no, maybe not. Okay, I'll put this one back. And she was like, oh, but those stones are real. You need to get that one. The stones are real. I'll give it to you for, for, for three. And I'm looking at it going, real what? Like real glitter? Like it's like not, they're not stones. They're like these lucite glitter something. I don't know. It's, I don't even know if it's lucite in there. You see that? But she was like, those are real. I mean, that's why I'm charging so much for the real. <laughs> oh, mama. Oh, mama. Okay. But I went ahead and picked it up because it was kind of cool. You know, it's neat. And it's got this random little bell on the end. You can hear that. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, so I looked up similar stuff. Um, these are, you know, Lucite. I don't even know if that's Lucite. I mean, it's got the little glitter in there, but it's not exactly what I would think of as Lucite. It's just like a plastic, <laughs> I don't even know, melted down in there with glitter. Um, so I, I did spend $3 on this. And I'm gonna hold it where you can see it. And this one is selling for $18.50. It's a bracelet and earrings. <clears throat> this one was really fancy, but it's not at all what this is. But I just left it up there because 
And then here's another sort of glittery bracelet. But this one, you know, it's got a nice, well, this one's like an Art Deco look to it, and it's going for $55. So I don't know. I mean, I might still try to pop it up for $30 or something. Um, and, for, you know, $3 to $30 if I get it. I mean, I still think it's vintage. What do you think? I still think it's vintage. Okay, so that's that. It was just funny. Hang on, I'm about to get interrupted. The kid, the kid, the kid. Kids are playing outside today. It's Valentine's Day. Hi, you done with bubbles? So next up was another watch. And this one she only charged me $3 for. This was a fossil, or was a, this one is a fossil watch. And it's got the little stones. And they just need to be cleaned up. They're, they're in there. They just need to be cleaned up. And the, the watch band is leather. Ooh, if I can get it straight, F2 fossil. I don't know what that means. But I could not, again, I could not find one exactly like it. It's really pretty. I like the feminine. It's kind of feminine and dainty. I don't have a... We'll see how it looks on me if I can get it lined up. No, we can't figure it out. <laughs> anyway, um, I couldn't find one exactly like it that had like a thin, like patent leather strap with a square face. I don't know. That's kind of similar, but <clears throat> this um, this one has got two, you know it's listed for about twenty dollars, and I think it's because I looked up the F two. Like, what is this F two? Okay. So um, so yeah, um, this one again. I couldn't find one just like it. This one is new, going on overstock for eighty eight. So I mean, I may try to put put it up for thirty five. I'm not sure. So and I'll have to take it up to Fossil and see about getting a new. Um, battery in it. It doesn't have a, a good battery. So, okay. Next up, I found these super cool, um, did I say why I paid for that one? I think it was $3. Uh, these sterling silver earrings, look how unusual they are. They are giraffes, and it's like the giraffe is bending down to eat the grass or something, and I couldn't find anything like this. And it's got three little sections of, you know, um, flat metal, and then, hang on, hang on. If you can see, there's a little mark there, which again, I couldn't find either. It's a triangle with, it looks like a heart in it. Looks like a triangle with a heart. And then down on one of the legs over here, it says STER, S-T-E-R. I'm gonna get it right one of these days. How long have I been doing this? A year. Anyway, I just keep scooching it out of the screen. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, there we go. There we go. You get the idea. Oh boy. And I think I paid a dollar or two for these, which I was happy to do because they were so unusual and they are sterling silver. Um, so yeah, I couldn't find anything like them. I'm definitely going to price them high. Like I said, there are people that collect everything and they want something unusual or their kids are looking for some unusual thing that they don't have of, you know, giraffe. So I looked up giraffe earrings, and look, these ones are selling for $79. Does that mean it's sold? No. But I look at what people kind of, the price point that people have, and either I, that gives me an idea of where I want to price it or up. Sometimes, you know, you get that feeling where that people are pricing things way too low. You just have to go with your gut, right? So my gut tells me to, to price these, like, I'm going to probably price them in the $40, $45 range. I might even do more because they're just that cool. I mean, and they're so different. I mean, it's not, you're not, and if I can find out what that triangle marking is, if that's something else, then that, you know, for example, if it was James Avery, it would definitely, even though it was sterling silver, be worth more money. So whatever that triangle heart marking is, it might take the price point up. But I'm thinking just as is, I'll probably price it around $40, $45. So, those are those, super cool. I'll have to clean them up, no biggie, no biggie. And then this was another one that was kind of a dud. I paid 50 cents for it. I guess it's not a dud, dud, I only paid 50 cents. Closing A, I, I'm one of the, <laughs> this is one of those things you guys have heard me talk about it. I have trouble passing up Closing A. I think it's so pretty, and I'm always so surprised that it doesn't sell for more, you know? So I found this Closing A whistle. It doesn't have the ball in there, so I'm not even sure it'll whistle. I didn't put it, I didn't test it. Uh, but they're only going for, I mean, these are sold here, you know, like $8. <laughs> Took a best offer. Well, this one went for, that one's really pretty, though. Um, 
So I might list it for about $10 to $14 range and then take a best offer on it. See, I bet that one sold well because it had a bird on it. Put a bird on it. Somebody's screaming. Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> They're just playing. Okay, next up, I got another thing. The lady was like, oh, that's collectible. That is a collectible brand. This lady had me going. <laughs> I got to get my head screwed on right next time. But again, it was for the Heritage Gardeners. So it's a little, call. it looks like a little alarm clock. And this is by the, the company Shannon's. It's like a miniature clock. And I've sold, you know, I had one that was like a mixer. Um, and I, I sold it in my booth, I think, for $14 or $15. And I paid, I think, $4 for this. I cannot get a good, I'm like the, the glare. <laughs> this is the funkiest. Okay, don't worry about me. You're fine. Everything's good. So that's that. Um, and again, the price, I couldn't find one exactly like this one. <clears throat> so it might still go for more because it's not like just a plain little mantle clock. It looks like a cute little alarm clock. So I might, I might price it around the nine, you know, 15 to $19 range. See that one? These are solds, right? Am I looking at solds? Yeah, I'm looking at solds. So, I mean, I don't know what I was thinking. So yeah, I'll probably put this up at the $15 range and go from there um, on it. <laughs> what I was thinking. All right, next. Let's see what I've got next. Probably some more clocks. Yeah, I was looking up clocks, clocks, clocks. All right, the next thing I picked up was a hummingbird brooch. Looks like this. A little. Look how angry he looks. Look at his eye. He looks pissed. You know, get away from my flower. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So, and again, he's not like the, you know, when you see really great quality stuff and you're like, whoa, that's a nice quality. He is okay quality, but there are people that love their hummingbirds. So here he is. He's got sparklies. He's got enamel. He doesn't have any kind of markings. Um, <clears throat> but I did not see one just like him. And the prices again are all over the place. Like this one's 470 but I think that's not high enough personally I'm trying to hold it so you can see it while I'm talking to you but it's like chewing gum and walking at the same time <laughs> um so here's one for about twenty dollars so I'm probably looking at putting in him at you know in the fifteen to twenty dollar range and I think I said I think I spent three dollars on him which is again a lot for me you know me you know me and I don't like to spend a lot of money Okay, so the next thing I found is a bit of a mystery. I'm going to show it to you. Now, don't be, dis don't be, yeah. Okay, so here's the necklace. And this one she didn't charge me that much for. I think I, I think she charged me a dollar for it. So here's the, the pendant part. And then the chain is down here. But I, well, here's what I think. I am 99.999% sure that the chain was not original to the necklace. One, because the necklace, the um, pendant part is sterling silver and the chain is not. So it's definitely put on after, even though it's kind of nice. When I shine up this, um, it will it might match closer. But I couldn't find one quite like it. It's not marked at all. But it reminded me of Danecraft, which is why I pulled up the Danecraft stuff. It, it as far as I know, is not because I don't have... The rest of the chain or any of the markings or anything like that. So as far as I know, it's not Danecraft, but it reminded me of that. And so I was not quite sure how to even search for it. I was like, flat, pendant, flowers, sterling silver. Um, you know, I even tried like pressed flowers, but then you start getting the things that have the actual pressed flowers in them. So it, it has that look, you know, like Danecraft makes. Um, I don't know. So I was trying to get some ideas on how to search for it just based off Danecraft. But because I don't have the name Danecraft, I probably can't ask those kind of prices because they are, you know, very, very pricey. So again, here's that, you know, it looks really, the style looks similar once I get it cleaned up, but I still might ask a good bit for it. So... <sighs> I don't know, because it's so pretty. Once I get it cleaned up, if I can hold it still for you, right? I don't know. I might even still go as high as $80 on it because I like to throw crazy prices at things and see if they stick. And sometimes they do, and sometimes I have to lower my prices. 
but it's really pretty. Again, like I said, no markings whatsoever on there, but that's cool. So here's a cool find that I, I got. <clears throat> Again, another thing that <clears throat> uh, I saw people pricing way too low and also mislabeling what they've got. I'm going to show it to you. So it looks like, all right, just looking at it like that, it maybe just looks like a piece of costume jewelry on tin or something like that. But then you flip it over and you see the back, you see the 925 on there. And then what I really want you to look at, one is the way it's constructed, and then two, the, the clasp. Now, the bar, this pin bar, is not original to it. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. And I can tell that because one, it's not silver, and two, it's too short. So, all right, let me take it one piece at a time for you. Look at the, look at the finish, the clasp right there. It doesn't have like a claw type clasp or a, a one that curls over and locks the pin into place. It just has like a C, a C clasp on it. So that kind of dates it a bit for you um, into the Victorian era. So that's like the late 1800s. Plus, the, tr the original pin would generally, from the 1800s era, um, be longer. It would kind of poke out a little bit from the pin. And now if my information is different than what you know, just, just say, hey, I have a little bit different information. But here's kind of what I looked at. So here's the the pin clasp that I'm looking at here. And then uh, these were prices. This is, this is what I was looking at. Um, I think these, some of these might be priced okay, but I'm definitely going to price mine higher because of the era. Knowing the era that it's from, um, I, I feel like I can price it higher. So here you see one that has got the longer pin and it kind of pokes out at the end. Um, I'm showing this to you so you can know because that's what I do, right? Um, here's another one I was just showing you, like maybe closer to what I might price mine at, you know, in the $65 range. Once I get it cleaned up, maybe more. I'll show you some more details in a second. These are some other, like I was showing you the backs and to the, it's not a clear picture of how it is. But here's a good <clears throat> website I wanted to show you about the different clasps and the ages they come from. So if you get this first like C clasp, that's what we're working with here. Um, very early ages, this circa 1850 C clasp. They didn't have like a catch and release, you know. <laughs> um, and then as it, as it gets older, the different clasps arise. So uh, I get kind of frustrated. Like I saw um, somebody have a brooch listed as Victorian um, unless they've got a new clasp, but it had like one of these modern type safety clasps, clasps on it. Um, I'm like, okay, unless the clasp is new, newly added to the piece, how is it going to be Victorian? Because they didn't have that kind of clasp, you know, unless it's like Victorian-esque. It's just the dating of it. So, um, here you can see the pin into the little hook, the C, um, right there, like so, clasp. So that's showing you, and this is getting more and more modern as it's got a little bit of a something to hold the pin in place. Okay, and then even before that, bef I mean, sometimes there would just be a rigid pin straight without, you know, it wouldn't move up and down. You would just kind of like poke it like a stick pin, you know, um, and that makes it even older, generally, generally, from what my um, research has shown me. We'll get to that one in a second. So anyway, I'm going to clean this one up. You know, I'll have to say, of course, that the pin is not original to it. Another thing, when you look at it, you if you look at it very, very carefully, you can see there's a lot of, um, like, flaws that wouldn't be there if it was, like, mass-produced. So, like, the circles are not exactly symmetrical, and some of the little bitty, the teeny ones are not exactly... Um, you know, placed exactly so measurement wise. And there was also a marking, <clears throat> you can, I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see it. Let me find something to point with, a pencil. Right on this little uh, dome right there, you can kind of see a smudgy look. There's a stamp there. And I, I think, I'm hoping that once I clean it up, I'll be able to see, I don't know if you can see that one right there, has got some kind of, I mean, when I look at it, it looks almost like an octopus, but it can't, I don't think it's an octopus. I don't know. And then as you look closer, the way it's constructed, like here, 
right there. You can see where the two pieces of metal have been overlaid. And then, um, you know, around here, it's hard to see, but like in this little area, you can see where it's just not, I mean, you can see where things have been laid and not just um, pressed into a mold or I don't know how they do it. But it, you can tell, I mean, it's not like the super high quality stuff that, but you can tell that it's older and it's more handcrafted than manufactured. So yeah, when I find out more about that little teeny marking that's on there, I'll let you know. Anywho, so, and, or if you have any ideas, you know, let me know. So for the moment, I'm thinking about the $65 range, which is, is really nice. Um, but we'll see because you never know. But I really think I scored with, you know, a really nice piece that's got some age to it. Um, so I can label it as actually antique. And then this ring, <laughs> this ring is a mystery. Um, but as I was doing my research, I learned that this is also like, it looks like a replica of Kate Middleton's wedding ring and Princess Diana's. Look at it, doesn't it? Does it look just like that? I think that's what it is. So <laughs> um, I'm going to test it because there, there's no markings on it, which is random. Uh, it's also not magnetic. I was looking at it. The stone um, does not have a uniform color. So I don't know if that's indicative of it is lab created or indicative of it is not lab created. I don't know. There's also like little air bubbles in there. <laughs> so I was looking that up like, do sapphires have air bubbles? I don't know if this is possible. Probably not. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going <laughs> to... Wait, here, I'll have to wave like this to make sure everybody sees my beautiful ring. <laughs> okay, okay. So um, this is what the ring looks like. I just thought it was funny when I was looking it up that I was like, oh, maybe this is, you know, you order it from like British Times magazine to have a, a replica of the princess's or duchess, I guess she is, wedding ring. <laughs> okay, did I even show you up close? I don't even know. So here's what it looked like. And I think this was in that bag too, that random bag of, you know, what costume jewelry. But yeah, it's not magnetic. There's no markings. It's surely just costume jewelry. But because it looks just like Kate Middleton's, I can sell it, you know, like as a costume jewelry replica. Kate Middleton's, is this what she does? Fix her hair. Probably not because she's not so, so like snooty. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> anyway. So that's that. I'll let you know. Um, I meant to test it before I talked to you, but then I didn't. So go figure. Okay, so that's it. That's the costume jewelry jewelry haul. I just can't stop doing that with the ring on. It's so big. Um, anyway, so I hope you guys are finding some awesome scores out there. Let me know what you've been finding. And if you have any information on things that you've seen in my video, um, that can help me out. <clears throat> also, I had somebody... Um, from the video where I showed some of the porcelain um, that I was unboxing of my grandmother's things, somebody was interested in uh, some of the little candle holders, and so those have sold. Uh, so again, if you see something that you just are dying and you're like, oh my gosh, I really want to have that, uh, let me know because I'm always willing to cut a deal with people that I know. So anyway, make sure you guys uh, like and subscribe to this video like the video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, find me over on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures. Go out and enjoy yourselves, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.